This course conversion calculator does all of these things instantly and accurately with the turn of only a few dials. It is non-electronic, it is made of durable plastic, and it is quite inexpensive. You can see in this close-up view of the calculator that the device is made up of only four pieces. The base piece indicates the true course degrees of a nautical chart. The compass course wheel represents the magnetic compass card in the boat's compass. The arrow on this wheel, which is zero degrees, must be lined up with zero degrees on the true course base piece, then turned clockwise for east variation and or deviation. and counterclockwise for west variation and or deviation. The variation is found on the nautical chart's compass rows, and the deviation, if any, is found on the boat's deviation table. Once these adjustments have been made, very special care must be taken not to inadvertently move the setting. It is advisable to check the setting before final calculations are made. The indicator located at the boat's bow on the boat wheel is turned to the intended true course degrees on the base piece. After checking the adjustments of variation and deviation once again, read the indicator at the boat's bow to find the number of degrees on the compass course wheel. That is the course to steer. The long, narrow bearing indicator which extends across the top of the three wheels, indicates relative bearings and true bearings simultaneously. There are two arrows at each end of this indicator. The inner arrows show the relative bearings, and the outer arrows show the true bearings. Either end can be used to indicate these bearings. The end not being used for bearings shows the reciprocal. After approximately 10 to 15 minutes of familiarization with the device, all of these time-consuming calculations of basic navigation will take only seconds to accomplish.